We have a 2018 Chevy Tahoe that we built for the Passaic County Department of Health for their hazmat response team. The vehicle features sound off signals, blueprint electrical control system. We have a Go Rhino push bumper with integrated sound off signal and force lights. Under the mirrors, we have sound off signal intersectors. On the roof of the vehicle, we have a sound off signal 54 inch M Force light pour. In the back up top, we have sound off signals chimsel bracket with eight sound off signal M powers. Around the license plate, we have sound off signal M powers also. And then we have sound off signal M powers mounted to the rear lower bumper. These have the white override feature into them. In the tail lights, we replaced the reverse lights with sound off signal hideaway LEDs, and we've reintegrated the parking lights so that they flash with the blueprint system. With the hatch up, you can see we have sound off signal M powers mounted to the rear lip to provide additional warning. These only function when the rear warning lights are active. On the inside of the hatch, we have sound off signal strip light to provide cargo area lighting. And you can see the sound off signal M powers on the bumper in steady white. They come on with reverse, rear scene, and the rear hatch being open. The cargo area organizer we've designed for this has a lip around the entire outside to keep all of their equipment secure from sliding around. We've installed a command board into the door. This is a ratcheting magnetic command board that has different angles of adjustment and also a pen, pencil, equipment storage area in the front. This drawer features Acuride 9308 lockout slides. These are 600 pound rated and they lock in and out with the drawer and don't require any trigger latches. With the Blueprint electrical control system, it allows us to add additional safety features to the vehicle to provide additional safety to the people operating and following the vehicle. Right now we have the turn signal active, which shuts off the rear hideaway and the rear flashing parking light so that vehicles behind you can see that you're turning. These also shut off when you apply the brakes so that people can see that you're braking when they're following you. Okay, now the vehicle's in drive mode. When you apply the brake, you can see that the warning lights have stopped flashing and the lights around the license plate have turned steady red so that a vehicle following you can see that you're braking. This helps to prevent rear end collisions during an emergency response. When the vehicle is put into reverse, you can see that we have white scene in the reverse lights around the license plate and on the rear bumper. The backup alarm is also activated at this time there is a cancel switch that's mounted to the control panel that allows it to be shut off. Taking a look at the center console, we have our angled series console. This is sprayed with the tough coat. We have reintegrated the factory GM plug along with the sound off signal blueprint controller. We've given them cup holders and a storage pocket for pens and other small items. On the blueprint controller, we have the arrow stick integrated, which is on the back chimsel. We have a takedown left alley, right alley switch, the rear seam, the rear alarm kill. We have the cruise function, and then we also have the ability to dim the lights.